morning um just logging on for the day something's going on outside like construction um oh william's up i just heard him coughing actually we always have that in the morning you know with the central heating lawrence gets um really dry sinuses as well so anyway it's not ideal but unfortunately it's a necessity where we live um <clears throat> i slept dead last night um i think i woke up at um just gone eight o'clock completely disorientated because i never sleep in that late uh, rarely and um i only woke up because i needed the loo <laughs> but um anyway I'm, I'm up i'm at it i'm uh, logged in just logged in for uh, work um feeling okay today i still feel like i'm fighting something though it's it's strange i said to lawrence as well like i, I was coughing a bit this morning and um it felt like it like one like I'm, maybe i'm gonna get like a, a ch i'm trying to get a, ke a chesty cold you know that kind of cold um Anyway, I'm just popping my uh, vitamins D, C, and I'm taking the magnesium. Actually, the only thing I did differently last night is I forgot. My doctor recommended that I take the magnesium. It's called MetaRest if you're looking for something to help, you know, ladies of a certain age. Um, uh, I, I take one every morning with my vitamin C and D, but then he did say take one um, in the evening before you went, to, you go to bed, and I hadn't been doing that. Um, anyway, so I did last night, and I don't know if that I don't know if it's because of my body sort of working a bit extra, trying to you know fend off germs, or it was the um, the magnesium. I don't know. We'll see. I must remember to take it again tonight before bedtime, and I'll keep an eye on that one. Um, but yeah, I had a good sleep, but I don't like waking feel you know waking feeling like that dead. You know, like that grog. It's like groggy. Anyway. Um, I swapped my short day yesterday. If you watched yesterday, you'll know I was in the all day presentation. Uh, after the presentation finished, um, I, I stayed um, stayed online, but offline. So I didn't get bothered by anyone <laughs> and caught up on my emails and such. Um, so I'm taking my short day today, which then leads me into a short day and the long weekend because I have every Friday off. Uh, unfortunately, because I'm self-isolating, can't go anywhere. A uh, bit disappointed because I had planned to see Linda tomorrow. Uh, we were going to go and do something nice together. Socially distanced nice, of course. But um, yeah, that's not going to happen now. Maybe over the Christmas period I'll see her. Um, this morning I am actually supposed to be at my physio for um a much needed appointment because i've stretched them out now for two weeks you know between um anyway she's just um what's at me this morning to say if you can make if if you're well if you can make uh the end of day tuesday next tuesday um i can see you so i said book me in because that will really you know set me up right for um the christmas period and um I had to cancel um john a bio residence doctor um i'm not sure if I'll, i might i might try and see him after christmas you know um because it's going to be busy if i can you know if i'm well i'm allowed out again i mean in theory by sunday i can go out there the health authority said five days um so by Sunday that would be seven. So it, definitely by Tuesday I've done you know the recommend more than the recommended um, quarantine rule, and um, yeah let's see. Anyway I'm starting to blabber on. Um, I'm going to carry on working this afternoon. That's what I was going to tell you. I'm going to attempt to make some mince pies because every year either my mum brings some over or I can go around a few sort of expat areas you know and, and one shop will stock them. And um, that's not the case at the moment. And I'm not sending Lawrence off on foolish missions to buy mince pies. So in February, um, a lot of you will recall, I had to go to the UK because my aunt passed away. Um, and whilst I was there, you know, I did I went, I did a little bit of shopping, a tiny bit, uh, with my mum. And because it was February, um, there was one shop, I don't remember where it was, had a mince pie, uh, mint, not mince pie, mince meat. The filling that goes in them on um 
special for 50 pence a jar uh and i was gutted because i was flying so i managed to get two but and they're still in date um so yeah i bought two jars of mince meat um and i've bought ready-made um pastry uh frozen so i've took that out the freezer and put it in the fridge last night so that'll be ready so i'm gonna attempt to make some um yeah cheaty mince pies later so let's see how they go <laughs> Woo, master baker not okay talk to you later finished for the day you know finish for the weekend um uh, it's like a muffin tin so i'm just gonna actually bought this about a month ago month and a half ago uh i thought sorry i thought it would be perfect for doing my mince pies and because i'm the only person in the house that eats them. Lawrence might occasionally force half of one down him just to just to humour my Britishness. <laughs> he really doesn't like them. And the kids won't entertain them. I think William might, if he knows of the handmade, handmade. This is this is such cheap. Okay, so if you didn't know, this is the uh, the filling. There's no meat in it, although there is suet, which is animal fat. Uh, you can see, I think all those white bits is the suet. And I think it's like a medieval uh, festive treat. Obviously they didn't have Christmas then as we had it, knew it. I think it was like the 12 days of Christmas. I know they're celebrated for a, a very, very long time, the Christmas festivities back in home. Uh, was he Henry VIII's day? What was he? One of the most famous kings in history. <laughs> it's been a long week, guys. Just bear with me. But anyway, this is what I bought from the UK. So originally, originally, hundreds of years ago, this would have had meat in it with a lot of, uh, like, fruits, you know, of the, of the harvest, you know, apples. I think they had apricots, you know. So um, it's now mincemeat pies. I've now turned into a, like a sweet, fruity, filled pie. Uh, also, really, really cheaty. So I've got the filling. I've got ready-made pastry, which is a uh, bladder day, which is um, not puff pastry, short crust pastry. And uh, so it literally comes in these little squares so all i have to do i have to get some flour i just put a bit of flour out uh cut uh the bottoms don't have to blind bake this or so the recipe said fill them stick a lid on crimp the tops and then stick them in the oven for about i think it said 25 30 minutes or so i'll just keep an eye on it mine's a fan assisted oven so anyway i'm going to get some flour Assemble the pies, pop it in the oven, and all being well, within the hour, we'll be sat drinking a coffee and having a nice mince pie together. Wouldn't that be nice? Or they might just be in the bin. A complete disaster, who knows? All will be revealed within the click of a, whoop, in the click of a YouTube finger. Uh, there'll be some plinky plonk music, and then we'll see the end results. <laughs> has just moved the olive tree to the front garden went out at lunchtime and it was all waterlogged the pot so i hope it's okay uh he's moved it to the front because by the front door there's like an overhang so um it's a bit more sheltered and because it's closer to the house there's a radiator on the other side of the window so um hopefully it fares a bit better anyway mince pies didn't turn out that well <laughs> i think i've overstuffed them so all the sticky syrup from the mince pie filling 
um, seeped out, so I will show you. Well, these don't look too bad, but then when we get to here, mm. anyway, they do taste nice. So, uh, I'm going to have a mince pie now. Sorry, Jack and Dax. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, Jack and Dax are playing over there. Jack! What are you doing? <laughs> Go out of the little giddy. His eyes are so big. Yeah, you can smell something. Um, anyway, I'm going to have one anyway. Uh, I'm the only one who eats them in the house, so <laughs> if they look a mess, it doesn't matter. They taste divine. Uh, I'm going to have mine with mascarpone, cup of coffee, and I think I'm going to knit a little bit this afternoon because, as I said earlier, I've got a... This is my early day today, my short day, because I swapped it yesterday. And um, yeah, no other plans. Uh, I've took schnitzels out the oven. So I'm gonna do a really easy dinner. I fried some schnitzels off their pork. And um, yeah, potatoes might do. Oh, got some nice um, sweet potato fries. I think we'll have that and peas maybe. I don't know, I'll have a think. Anyway, um, I'll probably see you later when we do the advent. <laughs> a really really lazy afternoon and even though the mince pies turned out to be a bit of a disaster you can see a lot of it's there um, uh, they actually tasted really nice so William's just opened the rituals advent calendar what did we get uh, um, she, uh, yeah like makeup remover yeah cleansing wipes very happy with that it's a generous pack as well There's quite a few in there so now William's going to open the Advents for us. Who's this one from, Will? It's from uh, Jeanette from uh, Crafty Place. Yes. Well done. Open it now? Yeah, you can open it. You don't have to be so soft with it. You can just tear it open. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Oh, how nice is that? Yeah, I've like one of these. I've got uh, rose gold ones yeah. and I've got silver ones. Do you want to hold them up to the camera? And what did they come in? In this. Jeanette made that herself. Isn't it nice? It's really nice. Really pleased with that. Thanks, Jeanette. Okay, we've got one more to open. This is from Ellie from, uh, what is it? Craft House Magic. Yeah. <laughs> I know what's in this, I just don't know what shade it is. So it's not really a surprise. No. The colour is the surprise. Oh nice. Silver. Yeah, it looks like a bluish silver. Don't know if you can see it in this light. You have to you have to hold <clears> it like <throat> that, Will. Doesn't he? Like that. That's how that's how the professionals do it. <laughs> like this. Ooh, yeah, and everyone will go ooh when they see it. Really nice. It's got um. I don't know if you can see it on the light. It's got like a stellina running through it. I think I'm almost done with um. Oh no, I've got a few more. These these packages, these silver ones at Ellie's. I've calculated it that I've got two more advents. Uh, per day to open and then on Christmas Eve which will air on Christmas Day I've got these from Jeanette and two smaller packages as well so that's the plan anyway I'm gonna say goodbye at this point uh, I think it might be a short one tonight it's the zoom call with the nitty ladies uh, so I'm looking forward to that and then tomorrow I have to stay inside again which is not very convenient but anyway uh, probably do online shopping what are you doing tomorrow, Will? In the morning, like from nine o'clock till ten ish, I've got a Zoom meet, uh, no, a Teams meeting with my uh, school for.
Christmas breakfast. Oh, nice. So we have to make something nice for your breakfast in the morning. Well, no, just breakfast. Just normal. <laughs> yeah, just normal <laughs> breakfast and then join the team's meeting. Is that your last um, school day before Christmas? William's um, been home since Tuesday afternoon, you finished school? Yeah. Yeah, they sent all Wednesday, the schools home. Wednesday, because of Corona, all the schools have closed. Yeah. And we don't know when you'll be open again? Mid, mid, mid January, maybe. Somewhere like that, because the first few weeks after the holiday, we still have to do stuff online. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, bit of a bummer. But anyway, William's from tomorrow. William's officially broken up for Christmas. And I've got two days left in work next week, and then we're all done, and then it's just chill out, really. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Um, oh, I forgot. Christmas song of the um, day. Yeah. I keep forgetting it. It's... Um, oh, I hope I remember the name. I'm going to say it, and then if it's wrong, the text will be on the screen. Anyway, it's the Beach Boys' Little Saint Nick. So, hope you're all well. Thanks for tuning in. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.